welcome back to my channel so I'm back today with another video you guys know when I start my videos with eye makeup on only that we're doing a foundation review okay so today we're going to be reviewing the ColourPop no filter foundation stick so I have two colors here okay so let me tell you guys so it's really hard to buy foundation online especially if it's a brand that you're not familiar with like their you know foundation so I ended up ordering two shades. I got one that is in the shade Deep Dark 185 Warm, and I also got Deep 167 Warm. It's the case, I don't know if I'm on the Deep for ColourPop or if I'm in Deep Dark for ColourPop. So, I got this before it was any reviews up. So, I saw that Shayla uses 167. I am not Shayla Shade. So, we're going to pray and hope and cross our fingers that 185 is a good match for me. If it isn't a perfect match, um, that's okay because I'm still going to go on with the video. But how? Comment down below. Let me let me know how you guys buy foundations online because I found it extremely hard. So this is the packaging here. Super cute packaging. I do get a little iffy with white packaging and makeup because it can tend to get like a little dirty. But it's really cute. It just says ColourPop No Filter right there, and then it has the um, the shade on the bottom, which is really cute. So. I'm going to go ahead, this is what it looks like here, and pulling it up, I'm looking like, oh, this is not my shade. But when I open 167, I think it looks similar to this. I don't know, you guys. I'm going to have to be out here looking crazy. So this one is 185, and this one is 167, which is like two totally different, you know, parts of like the color selection. So... They look really, really similar. So I don't think either one of these is going to match me, but these are the two shades I bought. I can tell that this one's a little darker, but I don't know, you guys. We'll see. I don't want to judge it right now out the tube. So, so I'm on the website now. I'm just going to read some of the claims about this stick foundation. So it does say that it is 0.34 ounces of product. So that's quite a lot for a stick foundation. As you guys know, I've tried um, quite a few stick foundations, and I have never had one that had this much product. So that's pretty good. It says it's never cakey or drying, which is good. Um, blends effortlessly, blurs pores, covers blemishes, and it's a medium to buildable coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out for you guys. Again, you guys, if this is not my shade, I tried, okay? I tried. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my face already, so I'm just going to go right in with this stick foundation. The darkest one I have is in 185 Deep Dark, so we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, so this is the foundation all over my face. So cross fingers, this works out. And then to blend it out, you guys know I use my Morphe M439, so I'm gonna use that to blend it out. Okay, so this is the foundation all blended out. Looking at it, I do wish I had a darker shade for sure. And also, I do still see um, my dark marks that I have on my cheeks. I can see those right through the foundation. So I do wish it was a little bit of a fuller coverage. Yeah, you definitely still see my dark marks. You can see my pores really good right here. Um, but you know what? I'm going to keep on going and finish putting on my face. So I'm going to also use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade 60. And hopefully this will help cover up these imperfections that are still showing through my makeup. Okay, so I went ahead and finished building out my concealer. This concealer never really disappoints besides what I said in my review, but you guys can go back and check that out. I will link it up here. But I still can see like where I didn't put the concealer, I can still see my dark marks. So, you know, go ahead and step off camera and finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am back after I applied the rest of my face. I just put on, you know, the usual, the powder, highlight, lips, the huge. So I do feel like it oxidized because before I was feeling like, oh, this color is just not the business. I still think I knew need to go to about two shades darker, but I do feel like this looks really nice. 
I do feel like it looks really nice. I do still see my dark mark, my dark marks here on my cheeks and everything, and I see some of the ones down here. But it's like a natural finish. It's definitely not full coverage. So if you're looking at something like super full coverage, I don't think this is full coverage because I don't have that many marks on my face, and the ones I do have, I can clearly still see them. You guys might be able to see them, but me, I can see them. But um, I do like the finish. I do think that the finish of it's really nice. Um, it's not settling into my smile lines, which is nice. I do still see my pores a little bit, but not as bad after I put on like the concealer and everything. And I think this is looks good for me to be really oily. Like normally by now, you, you guys think I'm lying. After sitting under these lights, I'll be oily by the end of the video sometime. But I don't see that. Like these lights can be really hot. I'm not getting oily, which is nice. I'm going to test it out one of these days and give you guys an update. I may want to test it out and actually wear it out and go out in the street and come back in. Let you guys know how I'm still liking it, but so far, so good. For it to be $10, it definitely does what it says it's going to do, and it doesn't claim to be full coverage, and it's not. So, what are you going to do? But other than the shade range that I selected, um, which has nothing to do with the actual concealer, I mean the actual um, foundation, I do think that... Um, these are good. $10, not bad. I do think they should put color these in stores because buying foundation online is a headache. Because now I have this 167 warm that I can't do anything with. Like, I don't, this is not even my, my winter shade. Like, this is just not the business. So I'm hoping Kiana is this shade. Not that she even wears foundation, but at least I'll feel better about giving it to somebody. But, um, yeah, so 167 warm will not work for me, did not work for me. I didn't even swatch it. I don't think I swatched I didn't even swatch it in the video because I just knew, I just knew that this, um, there it goes. This was not at all my shade. Like when I seen Shayla using this shade in her video, I was like, what did I just purchase? Like, what? So I'm glad that the other shade ended up working out. Like I'm glad 185 warm ended up working out even though I do want to go a little bit darker but I do think that I finessed it okay I think I finessed it and made it work so I think it's good so I do think that um the Colourpop stick foundation is a pop I think it is good I think that the coverage is nice it's more of a natural finish for you natural girls out there but yeah you guys so thank you all so much for watching if you guys have any other video suggestions please leave them below and also if you have any other foundations you guys want me to review because i really do like doing foundation reviews please let me know below and also while you're here subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys